What up, Van Fam? Long time no see. It's been a minute, but not much has changed. I have probably a little bit more snow on my beard. Paul's got slightly bigger biceps. But that's about it. Uh, we are in Utah right now at Sundance Resort. We're gonna do some skate skiing, and then we're gonna dip on over to Mercedes-Benz Van Center and say hello to our friends there that are having a grand opening and see what cool stuff they have going on. So one of the cool things about being in a van when you're at a ski resort is that you have a nice toasty place to gear up before going outside. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get changed into my gear and then we're gonna head out and hit the trails. Chad loves skate skiing. I feel sick. This is not easy. What'd you think? Oh, it was so much fun. It was so beautiful. I haven't skied in an area where you're just like surrounded by mountains. It was so nice. A lot of great hills. Good workout, right, Paul? Something like that. <laughs> <laughs> you did good. All right, so now should we head to Mercedes-Benz Van Center? Check let's, them out. Let's do it. Meet up with our storyteller brethren. Personally, I need some food too. Ooh, good call. So every time we come to Salt Lake City, we come to this same restaurant. It's my favorite. It's called Alche. It's a vegan Vietnamese place. We got some Van Mies. We're gonna dig in. It's kind of how we like to set up the table. We had this uh, lagoon mount moved over here from by Canyon Adventure Vans. They put it on this side, which is really cool because now I can sit here and eat. And Chad can sit in the Groove Lounge and eat, and we can enjoy a meal together. Look at that crunch. So we are here at the grand opening now of Mercedes-Benz Van Center in Salt Lake City. It's a Warner facility and we've been coming here for our van service. Uh, great work here. They also uh, do sales, they sell storytellers, they have uh, a whole rental fleet here and they do service. And this is their grand opening so we're going to walk around, see if we can chat with some of the vendors and see what cool stuff they're showing out here. So I'm here with my friend Rob, Overland hey, hey. Gear Guy. We love their stuff. We have all their stuff in our van. So if you want to just tell us kind of what Overland Gear Guy is about and then sure. maybe some of your most popular items that people have. Ab absolutely, yeah. Um, probably our seat organizers would be, be the most popular. We have yeah. about eight different models and stuff. And, and some of these, like, these would be for like a, a Jeep or a Tacoma uh, Forerunner, stuff like that. Um, but any of them will fit on the van. We have one of these in our van. I'll tell you the amount of stuff that we can pack in here. And the zippers like never once even hesitated or failed. Really? I mean, it's really, really durable stuff. There, there's just hidden pockets. I mean, each one of these has pockets behind them and stuff. There's just so many pockets and so, so much to put in. There's pockets behind here and stuff. But you can always customize it. So if you don't want, you know, like some of the designs, like we've had several people come up um, and a guy wanted to just put all kinds of dog stuff. So his leashes, his, you know, dog treats and, and the water bowl and stuff like that. Like, yeah, we'll make it. So, you know, you can you can get it customized if you don't, you know, want, want a standard design. And we've been doing it now uh, over 31 years. And uh, so a lifetime warranty on stuff. And, you know, we, we just enjoy f fulfilling people's needs. Yeah. You know, whatever it is, it's like you know, maybe something weird, maybe a one-off. And, uh, you know, we'll, we'll make it if, if you got a need for it. Cool. Yeah. All right, so we're in a really badass looking van right now. This is Tim's van. Tim is from Adrenaline Vans, and we have a lot of friends in the storyteller community that use them a lot for their outfits and gear. We've been meaning to come out and visit you guys. So just tell us about what y'all do at Adrenaline. All right, 
right, Sprinter performance, you know, that kind of sums it up, performance and accessories. So mm -hmm. lots of suspension, brake upgrades, fuel systems, oversized fuel tanks, and then anything you can bolt onto the outside, we carry it, stock it, and install it. So ladders, bumpers, switches, roof racks, lights, um, really any of the fun stuff that you put on the outside, we yeah. carry it. We have a massive inventory. Pretty much partner with, with all the manufacturers in the industry right now and stock their stuff. So. Oh. That's uh, our specialty. We do a little bit of interior stuff here and there, but uh, by and large, it's everything on the outside and uh, really a focus on performance. So we're in a storyteller. What, yep. is, what are some of the most popular outfits that you guys do for the storytellers? For the storytellers, we do a lot of the Agile off-road rip kits. Yeah. We do a ton of brake upgrades with the Alcon, Agile Alcon uh, brake kit or the Kerma brake kit. Wheels and tires, custom wraps. We do a lot of window tinting. Um, and then all the Owl products on the back, Agile products, Illuminas, you name it. Anything that you can put on is kind of customer dependent on their preference, their style. Um, but we do a lot of storyteller work for sure. So where are you all located? Montrose, Colorado. Cool. Yeah. So if people are interested and want to get in touch, is our website? Or... There it is. Adrenalinevans.com. Cool. Adrenaline or Vans. Instagram at Adrenalinevans. Hey, there you go. Yeah. But it's check, easy. look around this van. This is pretty sweet. Two bikes in here, let's say. A couple bikes today. There you go. Um, snowmobile a lot of time in the winter. Yeah. Or we can do three bikes if we pop the seat out. We can do a third bike up here in the middle. Hey, appreciate thank you. Yeah. yeah. All right, I'm with Cayman here from SMB, and he has something that has kind of been the hot new thing that everyone's been talking about, especially in the storyteller community, and that is the extended fuel tank. So tell us a little bit about what you got here, how it came about, how people can get one. Yeah, thank you. I like when things are called the hot new thing. That's, <laughs> that's, that's pretty fun. <laughs> uh, so our fuel tank, we came up with the idea about two years ago. We've been making fuel tanks about five years. We've been doing the same kind of manufacturing process that fuel tanks are made out of for about 15 years. So we have an expertise in making fuel tanks. Um, but our fuel tank is a 47 gallon direct replacement tank. So meaning you pull out the OEM tank, you put in the SMB tank and it's still gonna work with all your other components on the Storyteller. So the Storyteller has a big gray water tank on the outside. This is gonna bolt in and not interfere with that gray water tank. And what about any differences in like weight or performance off road? Cause that's one of the concerns that I had when you have that much weight on that side of the vehicle. Have you noticed anything? Or anything? Yeah, it's interesting. So, so a 47 gallon tank, it's gonna be 23 gallons more than the stock tank. So 23 and uh, fuel is seven pounds per gallon. So you're looking at around 140 pounds more at maximum fuel. So when you have a full tank, it'll be 140 more. So it's just like in having a passenger in, yeah. your, in your back seat. Yeah, I hadn't thought of that, so it's really not bad at all. It's not. But we actually yeah. have some friends that have it, and they take it off road a lot, like, well, I haven't noticed anything different. Yeah, so it's good, you know, cool. and it's made out of, cro of a cross-link polyethylene, so it's different than the current tank. The current tank is made out of a high-density polyethylene, but once you cross-link the polymer, it's incredibly strong. So the impact resistance, we have a lifetime warranty on it, so if you ever did figure out how to get a hole in it or ruin your fuel tank, we would replace it with no questions asked. And then in terms of install, is this something that you know someone who knows their way around a van can do a self-install or is it better to go through an outfitter? Um, we have a, a good dealer network and we, we trust these guys. They do it all, all, all day long where they're putting tanks in and they have, they have a rack kind of like that one where they can go in and look underneath and just lift the tank into place. You can do it on the ground. We have an install video that, uh, that I did that uh, I think is pretty good. Mm -hmm. So if, you, if you're trying to do it yourself, you can follow that follow along or you can look in our dealer locator and find a, find a place. Cool. So if people are interested, where do they go? Who do they reach out to? Yeah, start on um, our website, sbfilters.com, or give us a call and um, we can help guide you to the, to the best route. Cool. Thanks, man. Appreciate yeah, your time. Thank you. Yeah. All right, so I'm here with Devin from Mercedes-Benz Van Center, Warner. Um, and we have a very dirty storyteller that needs to be watched. And you guys have this new thing. I think this is the first in the country, right? We, we believe first in the country, uh, van specific touchless. Wow, wash. that's so cool. And is it something about it? it uh, you reuse 70% of the water or something like that? Yeah, I think the number is like between 60 to 70% of the water is recycled back to the system. Wow, so totally touchless. You can just drive it in, it'll do the whole thing. Yeah. Wow. So where did you guys come up with this idea? How you know, you it's, our, it? it's our owner Bart's idea, and I don't know where the ground roots level started, but I mean, just kind of the van center concept is 
as a team, we want to have everything for Vance, and yeah. we want to be the one-stop shop that you get all these crazy things and crazy projects done. So uh, I think it just fits with the campus. Yeah, and that's what's so cool. You guys have sales, service, rental, van wash now. Build vans. That's right. Uh, first master certified uh, builder that we know of in the, as a dealer, which is a lot of people, independent shops get the master certification. To have one here on the dealership campus is the first. So if you've got a Sprinter or want a Sprinter, this is the place to go. Or service. Or service. Or rent. Or rent, yeah. There you go. Cool. All right, let's get this van clean. Let's do it. So that is a wrap for our Utah adventure. I guess it was a fun trip, although I will probably never do skate skiing again. Ah, oh, but it's so much fun. Um, but yeah, it was great to meet all the vendors and have a nice little, we haven't been to a van expo in a little bit, so nice to have a little meet and greet. And I, I'm really into that SMB extended fuel tank. I yeah. think that's gonna be so cool, especially driving through the Midwest when everything's super high biodiesel or going down to Baja actually, that would really come handy. I think it would be useful to fill up right before you get into California. Yeah. That way you don't have to spend so much on gas or diesel in California. Oh yeah. So if you guys enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Go down below and gently tap that thumbs up button. And then if you want more questionable van life content, make sure to subscribe to the channel and we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.